Gemini, in this message, this person that was being channeled is heartbroken about you guys splitting up and you moving on. But they have a lot going on in their energy, in their environment, and it's becoming a burden. Let's take a look and see what happens next. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into Gemini's inside of their mind reading for the month of February. And in this message, Gemini, we are going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to look at what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy. And in this portion of the message, we're going to look at your person's perception of you, their perception of the challenge, what's hidden, what their true intentions are moving forward, and any advice, guidance from spirit. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Gemini, let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy for the month of February. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. What does Gemini need to see? Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Gemini, there's somebody that's coming back around and I feel, I feel here with the Empress energy for some of you, this may be a divine counterpart. Now we're going to clarify all of this here before we get any deeper. I feel like this is somebody who you have had a tumultuous past with, okay? With the Tower and the Nine of Wands, this is a very tumultuous energy, very disruptive, very destructive Okay, your person is coming out as the empress, the high priestess now. I kind of get a vibe that this person may be a little bit controlling. Okay, that could hinder the progress of this connection because Gemini is more of a, a free spirit. But it's also going to depend, depend on what other signs you have in your chart. Gemini, you're on this focus of healing, focus on balance okay moving forward reciprocity let's clarify the star energy with the eight of wands for gemini please and thank you i do feel like you are going to be open to this person coming back in coming back around this person having a conversation with you now again gemini this is a person who you have a very deep connection with okay and at this point in time, I feel in the middle of January, you're most likely not talking to this person. There's probably a distance between the two of you. I feel like there was some sort of ending with the tower energy that had happened, that had transpired, that caused you guys to take a step back. Okay. But your person here, Gemini, is feeling heartbroken by this disconnect. I feel, honestly, this person may have had a lot to do with you walking away. Now, Gemini, I feel like you're already on your way out. You're already taking action, moving forward and healing, recalibrating your own vibe, okay? When this person comes in for a new beginning, the challenge here is the wall is up. There's been a lot of water under this bridge. And I can honestly say here, Gemini, you have to do what is best for you, for your own stability. And that is why I do these inside of your mind readings. So you can understand what your person is thinking and you can make the decision that you need to make accordingly. Now, 
I do feel like this is divine counterpart energy, but somebody is trying to be controlling. Somebody is trying to exude control, whether this is you, whether this is your person, and this is becoming burdensome. This is part of the challenge. But we see here clearly, Gemini, that there is a deep connection between you and this person. However, I will always and forever on this channel say the point of coming into connection with any being on this planet is for your personal ascension process. There are specific lessons that people do bring with them that we are meant to learn accordingly. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Through those, I hate to say it, but through those traumatic, those painful experiences come some of the greatest lessons. I'm speaking from personal experience because I myself have gone through an intense past. So Gemini, the challenge here is somebody's trying to control the situation. I honestly feel here this person is going to most likely wander in and out of your life because of the intense connection that we see here. You're the person that's going to have to put your foot down, okay? And you're going to have to make a determination on how you interact with this person by how they're interacting with you, by how they're treating you, okay? So let's dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy here, Gemini. And we're going to see, we're going to start with their perception of you in the present energy. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. Gemini's person's perception of Gemini in the present energy spirit. What does Gemini need to see? So this person is going to come back around. They're going to seemingly be stable, seemingly be secure, seemingly be open to a connection. But I feel here, Gemini, underneath of it all, we have stress, we have worry, we have the Hierophant in the reverse, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. It's a very scattered, very unstable energy. So be mindful, okay? I'm not saying keep this person blocked, if that's the case. However, you need to be very cautious when you proceed with this person. Look before you leap, full energy. So what is this person's perception of the challenge here with Gemini spirit? Please and thank you. What is Gemini's person's perception of the challenge? I feel like this person is going to try and come back around Gemini. They are planning something here. I feel like this person has taken some time to try and understand, but I really feel that their energy is still scattered. Okay. So you do need to be mindful of this. The night energy, the night of cups, especially is still a night that's uncertain. Okay. They're uncertain. Most of the time when you're dealing with any human being and maybe they're unstable in their career, or other areas of their life, they're going to have a hard time being in any sort of commitment until they're certain of where they're headed in their own personal life. This is going to be for everyone. Okay. I feel here your person, even if this is divine counterpart energy, they're going to need to take some time by their self to figure this out. And if they're not taking time by their self, it's probably going to be a lot harder for them to figure this out. So what is this person not telling Gemini in the present energy here, spirit? Please and thank you. I do feel like this person does want a new beginning with you, Gemini. They are trying to come back around and offer you exactly what it is that you want. But I do feel like this person has a lot going on in their energy. Okay. What's hidden here? 
Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups in the Reverse with the Five of Swords. This person has some, a lot going on. There's com competition, competitive energy, challenges that you're going to face. This person probably is dealing with people from their past, Gemini. And they honestly look at this as like you may have left them in the cold. Maybe even with the pentacles energy, there's money involved here that's maybe owed, they feel. Or maybe they owe you money. Okay. I feel there's definitely an energy of proceed with caution, Gemini. Even if this is divine counterpart energy, I don't care if you have a divine masculine or a divine feminine. What the thing, what, what it really boils down to is your ascension. And is this person helping or hindering that process? Okay. If this person in their own energy is scattered in there and you're having to try to help them and it's becoming a burden on yourself. Yes, by all means, Gemini, you need to take a step back. You need to look at the situation clearly. Okay. Focus on your own stability. Focus on your own path where you see yourself headed. You know, take some time to recalibrate your energy to reevaluate your plan and make sure that you're still on track with where you see yourself headed or are there changes that you want to make personally in order to get to where you want to go actively processing your emotions actively working on your personal development actively working towards career goals or any other goals that you may have in mind, that's what's going to be beneficial in moving forward. Okay. This person's true intentions here, the death energy in the reverse, the queen of swords, the eight of pentacles. Okay. This person's true intentions here, Gemini, even though they may be looking, you may think that this person is focused on work, what have you. The death energy in the reverse tells us that there's things that they're needing to change that are being ignored in the present energy. Are you willing to help this person through? Or is this starting to become a burden? Because what we see here in the cards, Gemini, this is starting to become a heavy type of an energy. And you may need to ask yourself, you know, is this something that I can endure for the long term? Or do I need to take a step back and refocus on my own energy? What I see here in the cards, Gemini, it's going to be in your best interest to take a step back. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we take a look at the hidden energy a little bit deeper. See what comes out there. We'll look at where this is all headed, the next steps moving forward, the lesson that's being presented, and the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. So Gemini... What we see here is, I feel like you're the one that's going to have to make the decision. And I feel here, Gemini, that you're already taking those steps moving forward. The advice, guidance moving forward here, the four of swords, six of cups in the reverse, and the wheel of fortune. The six of cups in the reverse tells me that this is probably a reminder of something in your past that you haven't completely healed from it's most likely what we are going to find is intertwined with the lesson take some time don't just sit and heal okay you're gonna need to take some time and and really contemplate what went on in this connection what went awry were there things that you may have ignored or you know, warning signs that you should have probably, this is when I should have, you know, a lot of times in these types of situations, we can look back and really analyze and see when this happened between me and this person, that's when I should have decided to take a step back, you know, and this is what I learned from this. 
you know. Most of the time in these situations, Gemini, we really learn what it is that we don't want in our lives. Understand that there is a hidden lesson learned from this person entering into your life. And even if it may be difficult to see in the present energy, I do feel here once you have taken time to analyze this lesson between you and this person, things are going to start moving forward and very quickly. Okay. This isn't just an energy of staying still. Okay. This is all you are moving forward, Gemini. It's exactly what I see here. And it's exactly where you need to be headed. Understand though, that once you come to terms with the lesson, that's when things are going to start speeding up for you. Okay. The page of swords is on the bottom of the deck. I don't like to bring too much attention to the page of swords because who cares if they're watching, but just be mindful that this person is keeping an eye, keeping track. So if that's something that you care about, then be mindful of what you post on social media. You know, don't be um, too out there. But I do feel like this person is trying to watch, to wait, to analyze what the next move is going to be. And if this person comes forward, Gemini, just simply tell them that it's, there's not time to deal with these challenges, with this competition for their time and attention. That's what I would say. I don't have time to compete for your time and attention. So, Gemini, your blessing message here coming out for your reading, every thought I think is creating my future. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and believe. I have unlimited choices about what I think. I choose balance, harmony, and peace, and I express it in my life. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.